This singing group is vital to Paulette Plouffe. Two years ago, she was diagnosed with Parkinson's. She thought she was just showing signs of age. A stooped posture, shuffling gait, and I noticed myself, my, my writing was really very tiny, and it's not normally that tiny. It took me more than twice as long to do my Christmas cards that year, the first year, than it usually did. And my speech, too, as you can hear, is uh, slowed. A symptom can be a tremor, extreme fatigue, or trouble with mobility. Having um, <laughs> lived with Paulette for 40 years at that time, um, probably did not recognize any of those symptoms because they were coming on. And, and when you live with someone, you just don't notice it. Her friends noticed it. And then after, so reaction was, well, you know, we have to live with this. The Parkinson's Alberta Society runs this group to help clients maintain their voices. Voice loss is common with Parkinson's. This program helps people to maintain or even to improve some of the, the, the ways that they can project. So someone um, after having PD for many years may not be able to be heard any longer. The Plouffe said they experienced a wide range of emotions after the diagnosis. I guess it was kind of a relief for a couple of weeks. I felt like, well there, there are meds I can take. I've heard of this before. It's not a tumor like my mother had experienced as far as I knew. So it was a relief at first, but then it didn't feel so bad later. I was quite depressed. I lost 25 pounds in a couple of months, just without even thinking about it. At first, uh, a little bit of shock, and then uh, you know, reality sets in. Paulette's father had uh, Parkinson's, nothing to do with her, though my father had it, so I was aware of Parkinson's, quite aware of it. I would like to say that I embraced it and, and uh, said, well, this is okay, I can manage it and everything. I would still say though, instead, I don't want this thing, but I've got it, and I must deal with it, as George just said too. Parkinson's affects approximately 8,000 people in Alberta. We have lots of resources as far as literature. We have many support groups in the area. We have education sessions that people can access um, to learn more about what's going on. And we have um, client services coordinators across the province that will just talk or listen if you just want an ear. Because sometimes people when they're diagnosed with a chronic illness just need someone to say it's going to be okay. There's dance groups, there's so many other things that you can do. And if any people out there are just being diagnosed with it, get help, get into the support groups. Uh, at the beginning they're a little tough because you see people that are much worse off than you are and every Parkinson's patient seems to be different than the next one. You cannot pick two that are exactly the same. Despite everything, Paulette says there is a positive side. Can you believe it? There is a positive side to this? <laughs> I'm more accepting of myself and my limitations. I, I'm able to take breaks more often or at least take breaks, where before there was no time to do that. Yes, I can. Tammy Karachik, Shaw TV, Capital Region. Group Derma Surgery Center's Life Matters is sponsored by Group Derma Surgery Center. Liposuction, laser hair removal, Botox, tattoo removal. Find us online at drgroot.com or by calling 780-482-1414.